Hello friends, today we will be reviewing the U UML Distilled 3rd edition, A Brief Guide to the Standard Object Modeling Language by Martin Fowler. Hello friends, today we will be reviewing the UML Distilled by Martin Fowler. This book was written uh, long back. Um, I think it's more than 10-15 years. At that time, there was a lot of hype about the UML. It's very good to read uh, Martin Fowler views at that point of time. What is UML? UML is Unified Modeling Language. How, how it came into picture? Because most of the modeling tool vendors, they had their own notations. So a group came, OMG, which decided why not we will have a common notation. Uh, co they, so they came with a, with a UML. So at that point, and I believe still, UML must be different to different people. Some people see, see as sketching communication tool. Some people see it as blueprint. And some people see it as a language. And uh, when this book was published, there was a lot of hype about the language perspective, model-driven architecture, where you just uh, build the diagrams using UML, and it will uh, it will uh, generate platform-specific code for you. So it's very amazing to see the uh, Martin Fowler. Uh, he took a very nuanced. Very safe approach, and he turned out, in my opinion, to be right. So, what is uh, UML? If if you are using UML just for communication uh, or documentation purpose, when you I say you prepare a model, you you just take the things, some classes, some behavior, which is only relevant for the communication, the idea you are trying to convey. It is not not a complete picture of the how the code is there you are picking up you are picking up the aspects which are interesting to you so that is sketching part uh, uml U, uml has been good that time still is very great uh, communication tool documentation tool so as a some of the concepts uh, if we are building some component for multiple teams, so there has to be some uh, documentation, some diagrams, maybe sequence diagrams, some use cases, which will help us to communicate effectively to other people. And it is good for learning legacy code, drawing some charts. Uh, recently, we, we were working on some code and having a, some kind of uh, class diagram was helpful then comes to the blueprint part here uh, i saw a lot of insurance companies or other companies they bought model from others or they tried to kill, create a centralized model and the idea was the code will represent the model and uh, you you have to go through that committee to create classes and it should your class design should should be driven by that blueprint and i can see uh, i wonder whether how useful that approach is if you are using that approach put a comment that uh, how you are using that approach is it working well for you and third was as a language at that time it created a lot of promise uh, you have class hierarchy you have object diagrams object interaction diagram state diagram so in theory you should be able to generate the code you write some platform independent code and you should be able to generate the code based on that i i don't know how that promise has uh, turned true if it has been turned true to you do put a comments down uh, martin fowler puts a lot of uh, martin fowler fowler puts uh, he has given, uh, it's a very small book, as you say, UML distilled book, it's a very small book. Uh, 
So he, he has covered only the sketching part, focused more, more on the sketching part. He goes a little bit into the history also, history of the software programming. He talks a little bit about rational unified process. In rational unified process, you have a, an, a I think, elaboration phase where I have seen people preparing only models during their, that elaboration phase. Uh, some big consulting companies I have seen using that approach. So it's a nice book, it's still a good read and uh, uh, it, it was uh, very nice to me uh, that he took a very cost, he took a very uh, reasonable safe approach and uh, I think a lot of points he turned out to be right. So if you think otherwise put your comments. Uh, my name is Vikas Kerni. I have more than 20 years of experience in IT industry. I am Togev Certified Architect. Do subscribe to my channel for your regular updates.